When a new AP is connected to the network, it must first be configured before it can join a cluster. Connect to the default SSID broadcasted by the AP and open a web browser. Enter the IP address of the AP or the URL mywifi-enterprise.com. The web browser will redirect the traffic. Log in with the default password admin and provide a new password. Choose the country code and region and create a new management SSID. Once the wizard is completed, the My Wi-Fi SSID will no longer be operational. Connect to the Management SSID created during the wizard process. Go back to the web browser and use the IP address of the AP or the MyWiFiEnterprise.com SSID. Log in with the password created earlier. Go to System, then General. From here, enter the exact same parameters as those used on the previous AP. The group name and group management IP should be identical, but the different location. Once the configuration has been saved, go to System General and configure the Group ID so that it matches the Group ID defined earlier. Check the AP panel. The new AP should appear in the joining state. If an AP firmware does not match the version of the primary virtual manager, the firmware link will be displayed in red. When the new AP has joined the cluster, the client, connected to the management SSID, will be disconnected. The local configuration of the AP is replaced by the configuration from the primary virtual manager. The management SSID configured on the AP will be removed so that the client has no management SSID to connect to. To join the cluster, connect to the management SSID created on the first AP. Notice that the management SSID created on the other AP is no longer in the SSID list. Open a web browser and enter an IP address of the primary AP. Log in and check the AP panel. Two APs now belong to the cluster. One has been elected primary and the second assumed the secondary role. Any new APs that join the cluster will be members because each cluster has one acting as primary and one AP acting as the secondary.